Thank you very much. So how is your resolutions going? If you're having trouble getting going on that passion project, well, guess what? It is not too late. Ashley Erling is bringing us some midweek motivation. Well, we are already a few weeks into the new year, and if you set any goals for yourself, you might be feeling a little overwhelmed about how to really get them started. So here to give us some inspiration is our friend, local mom blogger, Audrey McClellan. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Ashley. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us. You know, I always find you as somebody who gives me inspiration because you do so much and you do it gracefully. So I thought you would be the perfect person to talk to about this topic. You started your blog many years before blogs became kind of the norm or such a popular thing. So let's start there. How did you decide that that was something you wanted to do and really tackle it in a way that you've sustained for so long? Yeah, you know, so I started my blog, Mom Generations, back in 2005. So going on 15 years now. And, you know, I really just started it because I saw that women were connecting online just really organically at that point. You know, I was so used to being on baby center forums and really connecting with other moms about pregnancy. I had two little boys at that time. And I just remember thinking, wow, there's something to this online world. And believe it or not, they weren't even called blogs when I started. I remember telling people that I had an online journal. It was the only way I could describe it to people. Oh, it's like a journal, but it's online and everybody can see it. So that's really when I, you know, why and when I started, I just wanted to kind of share my story and hope that I connected with other moms and kind of feeling that I wasn't alone out there. And it's funny, I just told my sons this recently. When I started blogging, there was no Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, um, no YouTube. I mean, this was at the very beginning when you really just had the blog. So I have to be honest, I think as all these different social media channels have evolved and come in, even with TikTok being the newest one, it's made my job to be honest, a little bit more fun. You know, it's not just like this, like I get to do the same thing every day. I constantly have to level up, challenge myself, figure something out. Um, there's a lot of young moms now in the mm -hmm. space. You know, when I started, I was the young mom and now yeah. I'm 42, I have teenagers. So really what I've just tried to do is evolve and really stay as honestly, organic as I can and authentic. I share our life. You know, I started when my oldest son, William was one. Now he's 16. Wow. So people have really gone along on the journey with us and hopefully they've enjoyed what we've shared, but I've always just kind of tried to keep it educational and also entertaining. I love that authenticity part. I think that um, for anything that anyone is starting, that's kind of the key and speaking of your journey and authenticity, you have a new passion project, which is really why I thought it would be so great to talk to you because this one is a little different than what yeah. you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So tell us about your latest project. Well, I know that you and I are friends anyway in real life. So you know my tremendous love for all things romance and romance books and you know just romance movies, everything. And you know, I just have been somebody that has just devoured these kind of stories for years and always had one in the back of my head. I actually remember in high school writing little love stories about that were like young adult and giving them to my friends. So the writing bug has always been within me. And you know, I've always fulfilled that creative writing on my blog for the last 15 years. But this year with COVID being the way it is and so many of our lives changing and being halted at home, I decided to take on the creative writing project of really going after my first contemporary romance book. So I finished, uh, I have two books now that, I, that the documents are done and I'm hoping to get the series out in the next couple months. So, you know, I feel like it was something that I wanted to do and I finally gave myself the time to just do it over the last year. That has got to be daunting, actually sitting down to do it. So how, if you had to tell people, you know, how to kind of overcome that feeling of being overwhelmed yep. with an idea or a passion project that they want to do, that they want to accomplish, and they kind of have it all up in their head, but they just can't quite get the gears in motion to tackle it. What advice would you give people? You know, my friend Cecilia Mecca, who's an author, she's an independent um, author. She's my mentor right now. She told me last year when I was telling her about what I wanted to do, she goes, I'm going to give you the biggest piece of advice. Just sit your butt in the seat and write. 
And I know it's silly to say, but she was so right. You know, when we have a hobby or a passion we want to follow, we just have to stop and do it. I think we can over overthink it. It can be overwhelming. Even I know my biggest thing, a lot of the moms I talk with, a lot of my female friends, I don't have the time. When am I going to fit that in? And even for me with the writing, I have just found the 45 minutes every day when I go pick my daughter up at school, the line is so long and I just get there a little early and I sit there for 45 minutes waiting for her to get out and I write. And it's the only, it's like fringe hours. It's the time that I can like really like fit in, but it's that time that I'm getting it done. So I just, you have to find pockets of time that you can do it. Cause I feel like the time is always something that we use against us. And then, you know, I know it's simple advice, but when I finally just put my butt in the seat to write, I got it done. You know, I think the biggest thing for me was to have an accountability partner. You know, you know, my husband, Matt, you know, he's great for me. Uh, my best friend, Vera, my sister, my parents, you know, I just let people that are really close to me know what I was doing and what my goal was. And they held me accountable. Like there were days where my sister was like, have you written today? And I'm like, I know, I know I have to do it. But it was great to have someone believe in me and care enough about me to know how important it was to finish it to keep me going. So find a best friend, find a partner, find maybe it's your parents, a sibling, find someone that you can really just be honest with and say, listen, I need you to hold me accountable. I really want to finish this and it's going to be important to me, but I need help getting it done. Accountability is the word of the year. I love it. Thanks so much, Audrey, for sharing this advice. I think people are really going to find it helpful and hopefully tackle some of their own passion projects this year. Thanks, Ashley.